One of the hardest things that wheelchair users face is people's perceptions. Positive perception is really important because it's empowering. I want that first perception that anyone has of me and anyone that uses the device that I designed to go, cool. If I take this one out of here. I started Phoenix because I had the idea of suitcases for wheelchair users because you can't carry your stuff. It's very simple. I just clip it onto the chair. Like that, and that's it. And I can now move around really easily. And the bag follows me just like it's part of the wheelchair. I'm done, I'm on the way, off to get a cab. Cheers. I think the best products are developed by the people that use them. I've used a wheelchair for a long time. I'm probably a good person to do it. I remember lying in my bed and the occupational therapist coming in and she said, Andrew, I've got a new wheelchair for you. And it was this gigantic metal chrome thing. The day I went out in public in that wheelchair for the first time was by miles the worst day of my life because I felt completely stripped of me. It was now my identifiable feature. What the wheelchair user wants is a viable, practical, lightweight, compact, portable, easy to use, safe, affordable thing. But of course the carbon fibre is not just because it looks cool, it's it has to be super light because we've got to add in the motors and the servos and the yeah. boards and the batteries and all this stuff. It's about doing something that other people haven't or won't do. This chair is very stable but very heavy on the front wheels. So what we're doing is creating a centre of gravity that's intelligent so as the user leans forward, it will move forward with them. As they lean back, it will lean back with them. This is a chair that intelligently is part of the person. The centre of gravity of the human and the chair become one. Undoubtedly, the wheelchair is the most viable means of getting around if you're paralysed. Pushing a wheelchair is quite hard work. There's a perception from wheelchair users that using a power device when you don't really need it is surrender to the battery. It's important for me that the power assist system that we're developing is really discreet because wheelchair users don't want to be seen to need help. The wheelchair doesn't have to be an inanimate, awkward device. It can actually engage with the person and if their abilities are enhanced, their confidence is enhanced, and the person has a better lifestyle. That's transformational to the wheelchair user. It's a roller coaster. It's doing this all the time. One day it works, and it looks so promising, and then something stops working, and you just feel gutted. So to see it all come together today is a massive relief. Yeah. It's a lot riding on this. The phoenix is the mythical bird of fire that can never be destroyed. No matter what happens to it, it just comes back. Seeing those people get that independence, that's why I do this. They wouldn't have got that had I, as a 14-year-old, not made that decision to climb that tree and fall out and break my back. That decision that I've questioned myself so many times thinking, what were you thinking? Now I look at it and think, maybe you didn't mess up. Maybe good can come from this. We got the chair completed to a usable state a week before the close of the competition. It's no longer an awkward, inanimate box on wheels. I feel engaged with it on a way I've never felt with a chair before. A million dollars for Phoenix right now would mean we can continue this development and actually get it to market and get people using it. Smart wheelchairs are here. The new era has begun. <laughs>